Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be installing Manjaro 19. Uh, the first thing I do, I just look for uh, GPASI. You can search for it here, just type in GPASI. And then you can just click on it. And then it asks you for a password. Password is Manjaro, all lowercase. Uh, basically, this is the password right here. We just minimize this so we'll focus on uh, I have a 64 gigabytes hard drive this is just for testing purposes so the first thing that you do is just go to device and then create partition table uh, the partition tables it depends about your hard drive and if you have a like a relatively ha uh, new hard drive, I would suggest to choose uh, GPT. Okay, and just apply. Then, then you can go to create new partition, or just right or right click on it and just new. It doesn't matter. So the first partition I usually create is the boot partition. I give it like one gigabyte. And then for the boot partition, I choose FAT32. Next, I'll add um, swap. I give it like 8 gigabytes. So it's 8, 192 megabytes. It's equivalent to 8 gigabytes. Okay, so this is swap. I'm going to just choose swap here. As you can see, it's 8 gigabyte for root position i usually give it 35 for that part uh, it's going to be 35 840 and then of course choose ext4 that's going to be uh, my root and then whatever left over i will use it for uh, my home partition and whatever left over i'm going to just uh, add it then I just do apply. Okay, so just apply. It will format your hard drive. Okay, and then close. Last but not least, uh, just see the flag. I want to play the flag here. If you go to manage flags, use the use this for boots. So. Okay, so then just close it. Uh, you don't have to apply again because that's just automatically saved and then you, we're done here you can just close it and then go back to your welcome to manjaro window and then here you can launch the installer okay just stick with default because it will automatically detect everything for you and then just next you can choose your own language if you basically in this step it's, uh, it's crucial to choose manual partitions because we already created our partitions then here you can either double click on this like this or you can highlight it and then edit you have two options so uh, basically here you can just mount them to, to whatever for example I'm gonna mount it to two boots okay you may have uh, you may have boots slash uh, ESP like this you can use that as well if, if that's what's chosen for you if you're installing it on a hard hardware so require it okay uh, you will just choose choose boot then this one you don't need to touch uh, this is uh, basically the root uh, I'm gonna just highlight and then edit and I will go to 
forward slash that's it then it will be automatically formatted for you and then this is the home directory so you can just mount it to home and, and then there's your next typical uh, login information for your PC that this is just for test and I don't want to keep typing the passwords so yeah here uh, I don't like to install LibreOffice but feel free to install it use no office or LibreOffice or free office just go with no office here just gonna apply gonna install and basically just warning so you you will not be able to enter these changes which means if you have data on your hard drive it will be permanently erased but that step is already done so we already did that when we're creating partitions that's fine i'm gonna just install now okay the installer began so i'm gonna just wait for it to finish and then be back stick around <laughs> 